The woman picked up the needle and thread, but she stabbed not at her clothes, but at her nose, stitch by stitch, as if she felt no pain. She sewed up all her five senses, and the woman died. What caused her death was the very animal fur that she was ready to sew before. It was not just any animal fur, but a raccoon skin. It was obtained by her from a father and son who lived in the mountains. They were usually engaged in the fur trade in order to get a huge profit. The father targeted a hunting area in the mountains, where there are many raccoons all look alike. This place is forbidden because there is an old nun living there. She knew the curse of the forbidden place, so often warned people to stay away from here. But there are always people who are interested in profit and want to kill raccoons, even though it is dangerous. This is the case with this father and son. Although the son will still be afraid of the curse, but the father said he came here never had no trouble. The son only slightly reassured when they walked into the forbidden land. The father had laid down a trap in advance to harvest a lot. Today's raccoon skin also has at least 20 pieces. At this moment, the raccoon's eyes showed not a plea for mercy but a curse here. The father stepped on the raccoon's windpipe and broke it. This scared the son. In addition, what scared the son was a broken paw on the trap. The father explained that the raccoon that tried to escape at one point would bite off the paw to save its life. He said it so easily as if the aggressor was not him. Afterwards, they were ready to go home with a full harvest, but ran into the old nuns who were guarding the realm. Feeling bad, they rushed out of the scene, back to the underground workshop in the processing of the pelts. The father could not help but fantasize with his son that if the raccoon skins harvested were sold to Plankton Boss, who runs it for business, then in the future, they would not only be well-fed and clothed but also very rich. The beautiful fantasy ended. The father went back to sleep with the dream of getting rich. He did not even notice that his son had changed from the timid when just entering the forest to now skillful skinning. The son seems like a different person. He looked around at the raccoon skins that were hung up and exclaimed, so damn beautiful. Then, after he hung up the last piece of fur, he reveled in their beauty. Then he picked up the stick and went straight to his father's room. He remembered that his father had said that some raccoons needed 50 strokes of the iron stick to die. So he would try to see how many strokes it would take for his father to die. He swung the rod hard and sent his father, who was just dreaming, straight up to God. The next day, Langton Boss, who was ready to come to harvest, appeared. However, he knocked on the door for half a day but no one answered. They pushed open the unlocked door and went in. The fluffy fur swayed gently in the breeze, which was beautiful. That's when an unusual noise attracted them. They went into the basement and followed the lead of the mouse and found a disfigured body. The very son who had just been cursed to kill his father. He came to the basement and brought the trap frame as if to punish him and put the face in. The little raccoon had now caused the two to disappear, but Plankton Boss did not care about life and death. He only cared about the coming fur show, so he made the heartless decision to take all the furs with him. This man is a fur processing factory owner. His favorite thing is usually work, only strange. His favorite thing is to go to a strip show after work. Plankton Boss not only loves to watch strippers, but also loves to play. He likes a stripper for a long time. Each time he spent hundreds of dollars just to see her alone. But because she has no status and position, Plankton Boss not only can only be seduced, but also be scolded by her that he is not worthy enough. He tried to force her, but the poor old Plankton Boss was thrown out. He is determined to come up with a shining piece of work for this year's for show and then become famous, rich, and marry a girl. But the boat of his dream almost sank before it could set sail. The old man in charge of the supply and his son died at home. They were both under some kind of curse. But fortunately, the goods that the old man had promised Plankton Boss were already hanging neatly in the warehouse, and they were all flawless raccoon bodies. So, he couldn't care less about the strange death case. Plankton Boss had all the pelts packed away by the employees. He felt he was a little closer to his dream. After arriving at the factory, Plankton Boss ordered the employees to move the pelts into the field. But looking at the bazaar first, the women workers all ran back. The male tailor naturally became the one to handle the material. Plankton Boss was still discussing with his staff about his future glory life with great enthusiasm. Not aware of the imminent danger, the foolish tailor was used to cutting muff fabrics and had no idea about the precious raccoon skin. Seeing the messy cutting, the boss almost fainted with distress, so he did his old job and demonstrated how to cut. Fuck that up again, and I'll cut your nuts off myself. After that, the tailor, who had a hard time getting off work, actually purchased a pair of cutting scissors. 
Looking at the sharp blade, he showed a creepy smile. Then, he ripped open his clothes to insert the shears straight into the skin. He actually peeled his skin off like a raccoon. Of course, because the picture is too gory. Let's skip it. It seems that the curse has spread from the father and son to the plant and boss factory. In addition to the male tailor, the female workers in the factory are trying to sew a whole raccoon skin. The camera keeps staring at the woman in the middle, who seems to be foreshadowing her fate. Soon after, this woman worker woman also died in the factory. The cause of her death is frightening. She was surprisingly suffocated by her own needle and thread sewing her five senses while sewing her fur. Like the seamstresses who died a few days before, they all returned to them because they had done whatever the same damage to the raccoon pelts was. It seems that this is the curse of the fur. Even after experiencing so many deaths around him, Plankton Boss still has only his fur coat in mind. Personal fame, fortune and money really need to use so many lives to exchange for it. Anyway, he does not care. He cares only about himself. This is a fur coat full of curses. The whole body is made of the softest part of the raccoon's fur. Hand stitched, everyone who has touched him will die. From the father and son who hunt raccoons, to the woman who sewed the coat, their deaths are related to the damage caused to the raccoon. The owner of the coat plankton boss is a 50-year-old man who still fantasizes that one day he will be able to earn both fame and fortune. After seeing the death of people around him one by one, he did not immediately give up but chose to be controlled by his desire. Plankton boss lost to employees before the completion of the freshman production, and with them came a shortage of raccoon skins. But the first show is soon to be held, and in order for him to make a name for himself at the show, he ventures to the home of the father and son who previously hunted raccoons. The room where the murder took place was filled with a burst of yen gas, and the old man's room still had blood stains on the walls. At this point, a hentron map caught the attention of Plankton Boss. The map appeared to be a forbidden place for hunting raccoons. Plankton Boss hurriedly put the drawing into his pocket and took a bottle of wine from the cabinet. He hurriedly drove to the destination. In Erie Woods, the forest is surrounded by a stone wall of space filled with white fog. Here is what we call the Forbidden Place. The stone wall is also carved with the scary appearance of raccoons. Plankton Boss walked forward and saw a wooden house. The house slowly out of an old woman. She is the legendary old nun who has been guarding this realm in order to get information about the raccoon. Plankton Boss went to the old nun's house. He heard the nun say that the raccoons outside were spiritual and they were sentinels guarding the forest. It was for their protection that the old nun told everyone that this was a forbidden place. He was excited to know that the forbidden land was not real and his boss was excited. He wanted to ask the nun for it to raccoons for breeding and breeding. Who knew that she suddenly raged and drove him out of the door and told him, They have not had their final say. They have not finished with you yet. Although he had no actual harvest, Plankton Boss knew where the raccoons were gathering. With the supply of raw materials after this, the coat was soon made. Looking at the coat as if it had magic power, Plankton Boss could not help but smile. He picked up the coat with affection. The beautiful coat needs to be worn by the beautiful person, and he has a candidate in his heart. That is, the charming stripper king. Plankton Boss took the coat to the door of the girl's house. Through the cat's eye, the girl who did not care about him was attracted by the coat at once. She invited Plankton Boss into the room. At this moment, the girl believed that Plankton Boss promised to fulfill her dream of modeling had come true. The moment she put on the coat, she was influenced by a kind of magic and never wanted to take off the gorgeous fur. To thank Plankton Boss, she offered her body. Then, Plankton Boss suggested that he wanted to take a shower. So he went to the kitchen and found a sharp kitchen knife. He rushed towards the bathroom. In front of the mirror, he carefully looked at his fat meat actually picked up the knife and cut towards his body. He seemed to feel no pain. Plankton Boss in a scream, after the skin off his skin to the girl made a human skin undershirt. This scared the girl crazy. The girl fled everywhere. Plankton Boss kept chasing her and eventually they both got trapped in the elevator. Plankton Boss grabbed the girl and she got her hand stuck because of the closed protective net. In the panic, the girl ripped his arm off out of fear. Just like the raccoon's broken paw found by the son of the previous trapper, all the curses were fulfilled and no one survived. A jacket worth $10 million does not make you sore in value. It is just a moment of vanity. A man's reverence for life enriches his soul and makes you shine from the inside out.